This video will discuss how to subtract three digit numbers by regrouping. The question reads, Daisy has 323 beads. She used 152 beads to make a necklace. How many beads does she have left? Our number sentence is 323 minus 152. We will first solve this problem by using a concrete model and a place value chart. With base 10 blocks, we will build 323. I will begin by building three hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Now we will build two tens. Three hundred ten, three hundred twenty. Next we will build three ones. Three hundred twenty one. 322, 323. Now that we've built 323, we can begin to subtract 152. We need to take away two ones from the three we have. This leaves us with one one. Next, we must subtract five tenths. We have two available tenths to take away, which means we still have to take away 30 more. This means that we have to regroup one of our hundreds into 10 tenths. I'm going to write an R to remind myself that I regrouped this hundred. And now I will decompose the hundred into 10 tenths. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we have 12 tenths, so we can subtract 5 tenths. This leaves us with 7 tenths, or 70. Since we regrouped one of our hundreds, I am left with 2 hundreds. And after subtracting 100, I am left with 100. If I add the three values I have left, I am left with 171. This means that Daisy has 171 beads left after she made the necklace. Now we will solve this problem with a pictorial model. We need to build 323, so on our place value chart, I will draw 300s. Two hundred, three hundred. Now I need to draw two tenths. Three hundred ten, three hundred twenty. Finally, I will draw three ones. Three hundred twenty one, three hundred twenty two, three hundred twenty three. In our ones place, we need to subtract 2 from 3. This leaves us with 1, 1. Now we have to take away 5 tens. Since we only have 2 tens and need to take away 3 more, we will regroup one of our hundreds into 10 tens. I will write an R to remind myself that I regrouped this hundred. And now I will decompose this hundred into ten tenths. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Now that we have 12 tens, we can subtract 5 tens.
This leaves us with 7 tenths, or 70. After regrouping that 100 we just did, we now have two hundreds. We need to subtract one more. This leaves us with 100. If we add our remaining digits, we are left with 171. And again, this means that Daisy is left with 171 beads after making her necklace. Now let's solve the problem using the algorithm. I am using a place value chart to help me line up the digits. And we can begin subtracting. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now we must first regroup our 100 into 10s in order to be able to take away 50. This leaves us with 12 tens and 2 hundreds. Now we can take away 5 tens from 12 tens and we're left with 7 tens. Finally, we could take 100 away from 200, and we are left with 100. Our answer is 171. Now let's refer back to our problem. Daisy has 323 beads. She used 152 beads to make a necklace. How many beads does she have left? Our solution sentence is Daisy is left with 171 beads.